Sapphires, you got rubies, you got emeralds, you could have onyx. I'd love to know where he got that type of piece. Where do you get all this money, Tyler? You got Tyler the Creator, ASAP Rocky, and Little Yachty. One of them is going to be at the bottom, and one is going to be at the top of the jewelry game to go against Floyd and the rest of the gang, the winner's circle. We're gonna pop off with ASAP Rocky. Now ASAP is known for his style, for his, uh, for his uh, wifey. He's got it all going on on that end, but on this jewelry pick right here, he's got a dookie rope, right? He's got a dookie rope, a dollar sign joint, a bunch of jumbled pieces. I don't really know what the materials are. Some of these ain't really diamonds, sad to say. Case in point, this dummy head and the stones on the face. I mean, it's nothing wrong to use sapphires, black diamonds, yellow diamonds, white diamonds, but when we're gonna look at some jewelry later on in this segment, you're gonna see the difference, right? What you wanna study really is, is the setting on that dummy head, yellow and black stones. Me personally, not a big fan. Not on the quality side, not on the styling side, not on the combo side. When you reminisce and you look back at Little Baby or Floyd, everyone's got a whole different jewelry style. This is his style. The quality and, uh, you know, particularly in this setup, is just not there. Now here, well, you got the, the pearls and then you got a gemstone cross. And that is a good look. I mean, it's stylish with the shirt. Jewelry doesn't have to be a fully iced out monster piece. You can have a little style. You can have gemstones. You can have sapphires. You can have rubies. You can have emeralds. You can have onyx. I'd love to know where he got that type of piece on a anchor chain. So it's a nice setup. It's a good look. It doesn't have to be crazy money. And you could achieve that look for a couple of grand, three grand, four grand, something around there. But let's keep it moving. Now ASAP is really trying to pop off with a Kuji sweater. So he's got his boy ASAP Yam in the Kuji sweater showing honor to his boy. That's always good. The mix-up is fantastic. He got this cross, a whole different cross with that center joint, pearls and gemstones. When I see that, that's when I know somebody really understands the jewelry business and is not scared. You remember Nardo, everything white diamonds, everything iced out, not a single gemstone, nothing. But here, ASAP is different. He's brave. He's got some green joint, could be jade, uh, you know, polished and set up uh, uh, on a certain level. All of his chains are all different links. He's not rocking a simple Cuban link in any single one. Back to the dummy joint, back to this dummy theme, painted nails. Rose rope chains usually come, they're usually hollow. You know, what is it gonna be? 10 grand or 20 grand, somewhere around there, depending on the weight. Pearls are not expensive nowadays. Pearls uh, used to be very expensive when someone would have to dive to the bottom of the ocean to find them. Now you can make pearls in your swimming pool. They learn how to culture them. But there's Tahitian pearls, there's this, there's that. I mean, you could make amazing pearls, but he doesn't have them. He doesn't have access to them, I suppose. It's a low budget style. A lot of pearls. I mean, I give him props for using the gemstones, for using the pearls. But here we're taking them off. The Lego Man. I love that Lego Man. That Lego Man is a piece that you can enjoy and stunt. And now you got vivid blue diamonds. You got pinks. You've got the fucking Lego man wearing it. A trucker hat. Details. A little chain, a little diamond chain, a little dollar sign on that for his ASAP joint. Grills. He's consistent with his style. I'll give him that much. Nice little ruby right there. Pigeon blood type deal. You got this dope ass ruby. You got a nice ruby. You got opportunity. What kind of setting is that, man? What, what kind of ring is that? Hacked together, slammed together. But again, this is the fashion. This is style. This is something I don't get. When I first saw Yeezys, I didn't think they looked good so I could be wrong when I first heard Lil Wayne I thought it was whack now I'm one of his biggest fans in my top five so when I first get exposed to trendy sh I don't get it and it frustrates me I'm getting a little frustrated with his jewelry right now I gotta be honest now you're talking ASAP it's emeralds you could see it's emeralds they're emerald cut fully iced in that heart joint. How much would we make that for? I mean, that's a ring that's, that's gonna be 10 to 20 grand. You see, he spent money on that ring. That's why he's going like this. You're like that. You're like this. I don't even care about this ring. 
<laughs> Dollar sign, A, the P, and with purple stones. There's that cross again. The A initial on the left-hand side is got that filigree work. It's the, the diamond quality is there. That's a, a beautiful diamond piece. ASAP written across. Pretty clever, pretty dope. Every single letter has got a different style, all right? How much would something like this be? Well, how much would I sell it for? First A that he's got popping off. Five to ten thousand dollars in custom. The S between ten and thirty, depending on what materials and what's going on. The other A, five to six to seven. You know what I'm saying? The P, what are those purple stones? Purple diamonds? I don't know. I don't think so. But let's say five to ten. So what do you have? Five to ten, ten to this, ten to that. So you got at least forty to fifty grand. Looking at that dummy joint, it, you know, you you wouldn't think he'd be following up with this, but he is. Let's see if he could beat little Yachty and Tyler with that. To wrap up Rocky, he started off soft, that dummy joint, extra big, this, that, all this weirdo sh he's getting there, you know? Some people, they start off slow and then they pop off, like me. And now we're moving on to little Yachty. Is he making waves, tipping over ASAP's boat? So little Yachty's got um, uh, three engagement rings on. At least he didn't paint his fingernails for this one. Now he's got fully iced grills, he's got some diamond chains, those were really popular you know, a couple of years ago, and that's probably when this picture was taken. These rings, center stones, those rings are dope. On his early joint, he's with the fully iced grills. No, they're not quarter million dollar rings. Three characters, four characters, off color. Sometimes you have, uh, you know, yellowish, not fancy intense. When it's in between, you could get deals. But he spent money on those, he definitely did. To me, it's already a little bit better than an ASAP. Keep it moving, Yachty. Then he's got a very provocative piece. That's not how I'd like to see Jesus. As far as jewelry is concerned, it is pretty clever with the red, the gold teeth. I mean, was, was that his jeweler's idea or his? That's a wave piece. That's where little Yachty's making waves. You could see ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Getting tipped over. What does ASAP have to compete with that? The Lego man, a dollar sign. Now here he's got his engagement joints back on, a dope grill, bunch of other bands and brilliant cut stones, the dollar sign bracelet, clean, two tennises which got great quality, an AP, Cartier, bangle, got bike chain link, but it's iced out, I love those. So he's really doing what ASAP Rocky's doing kind of in that, but he's doing it a little bit better, dare I say. I mean, someone's gotta be better than someone else. This isn't sweet sh Tracks when I see ain't rated PG. It's more money, Baba John. All his chains are dope, he's got different links. He's got those little Cubans, the little anchors, the little, beaded joints, um, you know, the puffy Gucci link type deal. I mean, each one of those chains could be 20 to 40 grand, and you count them up. Average of 30. 30 times 10 is $300,000, not including the pieces, so he is popping off right there, you know what I'm saying? So no one's telling you, I'm not putting a gun to your head saying, hey, spend $3 million on jewelry or else you don't make it. But when you do it, you do it. It's a pleasure to see. He's like a mix between Nardo and ASAP. Finding that perfect balance between fully iced, massive pieces to this. And I even feel like he's got a little baby beat. The white tiger, then he's got that anchor popping off, that little um, uh, cardinal. Now he's doing pointers. Not huge stones, 10 pointers, 25 pointers. 10 to 25 pointers. Every four stones is a carrot for a 25 pointer. He picked up something from Icebox. Something simple, nothing uh, too complex. Emerald cuts in there. Concrete, the bricks are supposed to be this. We, we, we see what we're trying to do, but it, it ain't happening to me. Sorry, man. That concrete is not concrete. If you rappers are watching, I know you are. The more time you give to that model, the better it comes out. I don't give a f you want to get this, you want to get that, you want to rush it, you're going to get a 2D piece I could scratch out for you right now. That's a 2030 type piece, something around there. Shout out to Icebox, shout out to Little Yachty. Then he goes out of control. When you do monster pieces, you know, you got to do it right. It's too much going on, man. The hands aren't done right. It looks rushed. He's losing points on that one, man. But when they're ordering three-dimensional corners, get cut. Then you've got the world famous grill. In the piece and on the man himself, a monster puffy Cuban link. The little Yachty with the chocolate diamonds. Setting trends, man. Making waves. I love it. And his jewelry's done done well. Shout out to Jimmy Boy. Done right. But can he beat Tyler the Creator? Got a really tight race here because they all got that funky little style. All right, boys? I know you're watching. I know you want to know. We're going to keep you in suspense. Shout out to Ben 
baller it's with the ladybugs the roses but they're also clean you know what i'm saying look at the setting how do what does that mean they're all so clean you're making a 3d model and you have certain individual diamonds in individual sizes ben baller's jewelry and their friends you know and this and that is always has that clean rim to it i know ben baller didn't do those goofy ass and mask in that cat because those are rickety crickety settings rickety crickety non-matching stones it's just not what the f is going down in funky town pink stones are either sapphires they're not hitting like diamonds that's for sure that blue diamond chain which looks like diamonds to me i'm a very crispy blue how do you get those blue diamonds you take white diamonds and you radiate them but you could take k color radiated you're gonna have brownish blue or you could take H color and radiate it and you're gonna have that bright blue and that's what he's got. He's got a couple of different links. He's got a, a nice solid rope. The cat and that other sh you could give that to ASAP, bro. Now you see Tyler wearing all of his joints at once. I mean, it's a monster look. Mad money, gemstones, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, teardrop shape, crazy quality, really, really what it is. That's a tough, stiff competition. We already know that ASAP got knocked out. I'm sorry, man. But now it's little Yachty versus Tyler, the creator. Let's keep it real. Fantastic. Alex Moss is doing it clean. He's got attention to detail. Those beads are not easy to make. The three dimensional, you got a chain in between pink sapphires yellow diamonds white diamonds blue diamonds look at that bail the bail this is where things are made Tyler is a classier guy than most of you mother out there because he gives the jeweler time to do it correct that bail that chain is a perfect set everything is measured to spec the yellow diamonds are very very pissy very very deep yellow very very nice the briefcase is open up the bellboy from the hotel i don't really know what that means but the setting the craftsmanship the attention to detail crispiness is there and i really really love that piece pearls the yellow big yellow rocks uh, z color or something like that almost fancy Blue diamond eternity band on the finger. Very nice. I mean, Tyler is, is really, he's got a lot of class, man. Some places, you know, the jumbled pieces ain't gonna be looked at. That, that little setup right there, you could be turning heads in Monaco or wherever the f you're at. That's a beautiful little look. As you know, money's a big deal in this world. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm not wearing these chains when I walk around. I don't give a f about wearing all these Cubans, but I'm doing it for you because I want you to see money when you're watching. And that's just part of the game. Okay, that might pop off with my grizzly joint right here. And more money. And this is really what it is. Let me just see myself. I, I got nicer jewelry than some of these guys in all reality. Tyler is stunting even more. Pearl, belt, you know, with the wallet chain, with the car keys. What car, what car keys is you rocking on that? What's that, a Rolls Royce? Of course it is. Where do you get all this money, Tyler? Where you get all that money at, bro? A real sweet, real classy. I'll even forgive the painted nails. You're on the track, you got dirty, but your diamond's still clean. You little stunner. You're stunting on me. Oh, not again, Tyler. Yeah, you beat him, Tyler. F it. That emerald heart shape and that ring clean with a beetle. He hit little Yachty with an iceberg. He slowed down ASAP. He ribbed him, he jibbed him, bro. That's him and Rocky? Wow, you guys are together? Not after this. A fully iced piece by Ben. Clean. The rose on the hair, the chocolate diamond. You'd be lucky to get a piece as clean as that made. Well, if I want to talk sh right? You want me to give you a critique? Between the head and the bail is a little space a nothing of nothingness why do my eyes have to be injured with that plain gold that's how you want your jewelry case to be you got some amazing jewelry tyler i'm not even gonna front colorful sweet beautiful that's something that you can have as a painting on a wall that collection of jewelry so what do we learn asap is styling my favorite thing was that emerald ring little yachty you know he really captured that young era tyler is meticulous he's careful he has a real relationship with his jewelers. Alex Moss, Ben Baller. He's taking his time. They're taking their f***ing time. And they're making them pieces that are iconic and clean as hell. He's the right customer, and they're the right jeweler and the right combination to make pieces. So far in the top bracket, we got Tyler, and then we got Floyd Money Mayweather, who spent about 10 times more than everybody else.